Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to you as well. Today, today is the last week of vlogmas. I am not excited that it's over, but I'm just excited that I've been able to do this. I've vlogged every single day. Um, it's been great. So we have one week left. We're kind of in a weird situation, so I'm going to explain how this week is going to go. Uh, so, because Christmas is on a Sunday, that is normally the day that I start these vlogs. Today's Sunday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to vlog from this Sunday all the way until Monday. Monday is actually the day that um, I normally actually celebrate, um, not necessarily Christmas, but like my giving in like winter and I cook and do all that kind of stuff. So we are going to have a little bit of a longer weekly vlog. It'll be about eight or so days. So strap in, get ready, because this is about to be all the fun stuff that you can possibly think of in eight days. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Francesca. I make vlogs, hauls, routines, and everything in between. If you like any of that, you should just go ahead and hit subscribe. Go ahead, do it. Sunday, um, I actually have my hair appointment tomorrow to fix these braids because my braids have grown out like crazy. So I'm actually going through the process of taking my braids out today. Um, hair days like this are long if you know if you have natural hair if you have braids if you have anything like that at any point in time you know that this is a whole day process so i'm gonna bring you guys along the process with me um but first let's get some food in our system it's about lunchtime when i'm starting this so i'm gonna make myself a turkey and bacon sandwich um if you don't know i actually don't eat beef or pork so i'm gonna cook up some turkey bacon and i have some cremadilla turkey meat and I'm just going to make myself a sandwich with some chips and some vanilla wafers. While I'm waiting for the turkey to cook, I want to put y'all on for a second because these things are amazing. When I say they are amazing, they are good. So, I got these from Target one day because I was really hungry. Um, and the Target I went to doesn't have, like, an actual grocery. Um, these little snacks are really good. This one has the honey roasted peanuts, cranberries, and the pepper jack but it's so good basically it's just like a little protein boost um it tastes really good i love it very simple lunch just have my grilled cheese with bacon and turkey and salt and vinegar chips because you can't go without them now that i'm done eating let's talk a little bit about my process when it comes to taking out my braids so my braids are about like i'd say 20 to 22 inches long um, my own hair probably does not start on most of these braids until about right here. So what I actually do is I clip this amount of each braid, just the skinnier part that I know that my hair is not in, and it also makes it easier to kind of take it out. I brought my trash can in from my bedroom, and I have, of course, my scissors because I'm clipping. This hairbrush, because what I do is I try to take each part out and like after I'm done unbraiding it and I get all the braiding hair out I try to brush it out and make sure that it's untangled before I even wash it because if not then it'll be a hot mess once I wash it um, I do use a little bit of spritz from this so that if there needs to be some moisture there can be I'm still working through but this is the front half and like my hair is very dirty and shrunk so don't mind the size of it but we're working through it I'm currently watching some YouTube videos I just finished Samantha Joe's uh, vlogmas video from last night um, and then now I'm watching Michaela Bento she's not doing vlogmas hi baby hi she's not doing vlogmas but she is doing a midday slump video, so that's pretty interesting. Daphne wants to say hi to you guys. Okay. Daphne is asking to go outside, so I just threw this bandit on so I don't look wild to my neighbors. But she's gotten so good. I'm trying to show them. <laughs> she's gotten so good that she knows to wait near the door whenever she needs to use the bathroom so that mommy can take her out. Pro
product wise I've been using this Hask set there's both the conditioner and the shampoo Hask comes in those little packets sometimes and a lot of times people use that for the conditioner but if you look into it they don't use any sulfates, parabens, phthalates, gluten, alcohol, or artificial colors. So this is what I use for shampoo and conditioner. I am almost done blow drying my hair. I need to blow dry the back. Yo, my hair. Look at my hair. Ah, oh, like I have, my hair is very thick. I don't have the longest hair in the world, but my hair is extremely thick. So I was worried and I was like, I don't know what I want to do for work tomorrow. I have to get my hair done like directly after work. Like I don't even have time really to do much. I'm maybe going to be able to eat. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, it doesn't take long to get the braids that I get. But I'm looking at this and I'm, I honestly just think I'm going to go to work like this because I don't need to have my hair bone straight for it to look okay. This is just a blow dried. And I might like stop the Walmart, get a headband, but like my hair looks so good and so healthy. Good morning, loves. It is Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. It is not Tuesday. I'm just trying to push this week on so quickly. It is actually Monday. Um, I am on my way to work. I like so last night. Of course, I blew out my hair. I went ahead and put a headscarf on to try to like tame it we'll see how well that works um just because like as i sweated throughout the night my hair kind of expanded but i am on my way for my last work week before the holiday i just have to work <laughs> excuse me i just have to work till thursday this week so um after I get off of work today, I'm going straight to the braider. So I will try to show you guys a little bit of that. She does braid in her home, so I do try to respect her space because it is her house. Um, and I don't film. I don't think she would have an issue with it. I think I did ask her the first time I got my hair braided, and she said it was fine as long as it was, like, you know, not showing her house. So I might show you guys a little bit of that. Pull my hair out. I don't know what it is, but this is giving, like, I have to pick the kids up from Sunday school. It's giving, like, saved and sanctified mother. I don't know what is happening, but <laughs> this is just for me to get through this day so that I can get my hair done. It, it looks cute. Like, I'm fine with it. I'm, it's just, I look older. <laughs> Listen, the way, the way I be going to my hair appointments and my nail appointments, why do my nail tech and my hairdresser still see me? What is this? I am not a bonnet girl. If you wear your bonnet outside your house, no shame to you. This is for when I go to bed. But my hair looks unsightly and I just need it contained. Sweatpants, sweatshirt, some Crocs, and some fuzzy socks. So, about to go get my hair done. Um, I need to put this in the GPS and get the getting because I'm about to be running late if I sit here and talk too much. I'm doing the same knotless braid situation as I did. Oop. I took a nap and you could tell. I'm doing the same knotless braid situation as I have been for the last couple of months. I'm really just trying to grow the perm out of my hair. Um, which has been working out pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, it, for the most part, is gone. I have some, like, stringy pieces that still have permanent. My hair is growing like crazy. It's so thick, and I'm excited. So, really, this is just, like, prolonged protective styling. Um, because otherwise, I can't wear my hair straight, and that's not the most, like, protective thing. But I'll talk to you guys when my hair is done. But my hair is done and did. It looks great. I went a little bit smaller this time. So these are more like large than jumbo. It's cute. I love it. I, like I, I said before, I like 
my knotless braids once they are not as neat um this is super cute but i'm also like i'm ready for this to be like two three weeks in and it's nice and like puffy and like natural looking anyway i'm tired and i'm starving so i'm gonna go in this house i'm sorry the first two days of this vlog have been my hair <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna get to some Christmas stuff this week. We're gonna get to actual Christmas. We're gonna get to Friends Miss. It's, it's about to be fun. Happy Tuesday, guys. I am on my way to a meeting an hour away. We love those meetings that are hours away. Um, while I was leaving to get ready, this focus is terrible. I realized I never filled out Christmas card for my other recruiter. So like, um, I work in a market area where there's two recruiters. One is covers like a certain side of stores. <coughs> I cover the other set. We live really far away, so like these meetings are normally the only time I see her. I wanted to write her a quick note in one of these cards. I literally have like five minutes to do so, so I'm gonna do that real quick. It only took me a whole song to do this. Um, I don't know if y'all have heard that new Metro Booming uh, album that came out, I think on like the second, or SZA's new album, SOS, but listen, listen. That's the only things I've been listening to. I've been watching Vlogmas videos and listening to those two albums. Straight fire, straight, straight fire. Alright, I need to get going because I like to try to get there a little bit early and right now it's saying that I'm going to get there with only 8 minutes to spare and normally when it says 8 minutes it's really about to turn into I only got like 3 or so minutes to spare. So I'll talk to y'all later. So I am outside walking Daphne. I got off of work and went straight to my nail tech, but I wanted to show you guys my nails real quick when I get in here. So here they are. I wanted to get something that works for both Christmas, New Year's, and my birthday, but I don't want to get any like with jewels or like extra things, any like candy art or anything like that, just because I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking, moving around, something that lasts and that looks pretty good. So. I just got back from Target. The main thing that I had to get from Target was this planner. And first off, it is giant. Like, why is this the size of a notebook? But because I do recruiting, a lot of times my, like, interviews for certain roles are really only 15 or so minutes, 30 minutes. And I have to jam pack a lot in a day. So I get 15-minute interval calendars. And I'll show you guys kind of how that looks. So I got this from Target. This was actually only, like, basically ten dollars i think it was 8.99 and it really does have a lot of space so if you do like appointments and stuff like that this is not a bad bad go also while i was there of course i had to look at the pops because am i even me if i look at don't look at pops i uh i saw this this is miles morales and it has the ultimate fallout comic in the back i have one of these for black panther and there's one for sherry too um but I saw this and I just had to grab it. And I don't think anybody got me this for Christmas, so that's a good thing. And then I I caved. I I got I got many brands. <laughs> um I'll show you guys what I got in here, but you wanna see like a full unboxing, check out my YouTube short because I'll actually be posting that before this video. So I ended up getting a lot of little tiny oop, a lot of little tiny toys. Most of them are Pixar ones, but this is pretty cool. Got a Buzz Lightyear. R2-D2 and an Iron Man. And it came with a shelf too, which was pretty cool. 
Good morning, party people. It is. <laughs> it's 31 degrees outside. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this week. It's 31 degrees outside. I'm on my way into work. Tomorrow's my last day of work before... Excuse that. If you've been here, you know. You already know what's up. Don't just, just ignore it. <clears throat> Tomorrow is my last day of work before the holiday, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not super busy tomorrow. I want to just kind of be able to work through all of the administrative stuff that I have to do and take my butt home. Yesterday was like mildly chaotic for me because I had a lot going on at night. I went straight from work, got my nails done, and then I straight, went straight from getting my nails done to having to come home to like get dressed, and I went to dinner, and then I had to go to Target, and so it was just so much, so much stuff. But um, today is Wednesday. I am heading into work. I had something I want to tell you guys. What was it? From here on out, the rest of my week is about to be like packed. Um, today, when I get back from work, we're going to edit a little bit. I'll show you guys a little bit of my process. I feel like my glasses are distracting. I'm sorry. I'll show you guys a little bit of my process. And then, like, tomorrow, I think we're planning to go to see a couple of different Christmas lights. Friday, I'm going out with my girls. Hopefully, if it doesn't get too cold, it's supposed to be, like, 17 degrees. Um, I'm just really excited because I feel like after tomorrow... <laughs> When I get off of work, I'll be like, oh my god, it's actually like holiday season. Otherwise, it has felt very like, go, 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 work, 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 like, not fun. So, yeah. Y'all. It's been a day. I'm so ready for tomorrow. So, okay. Um, I'm leaving work. And I'm about to head home. Get some things done before I have therapy. Um... I stopped to Target today to pick up something for one of my managers, and um, I got another mini brands. <laughs> I, so, listen, <laughs> I'm not going to keep buying these. They are on sale, and they are exciting, but at the same time, like, someone pointed out, like, mini brands are so wasteful because, like, what are you going to do with that? But... I'm also a collector. Like, I'm a huge, huge collector. I have Pops, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, and, like, comic books and, like, cars that I haven't even looked at in years. So, it is kind of fun for me to go through that process. Um, but I did get other mini brands. So, on the ride home, I had the sudden urge to make white chili. Never made white chili. Don't know what I'm doing. But I'm making it. I have I have my Great Northern Beans up. Great Northern Beans cooking. I went to Trader Joe's real quick, got chicken broth and heavy whipping cream because I didn't want it to just be like soupy. I'm going to use ground turkey instead of chicken. I legit still have not edited the Vlogmas week 4 video that's supposed to come out tomorrow. So, I'm trying to cook and do this video is about to be a lot, but we go. The rain is like reflecting on my face, so my face is totally okay, I promise. Um, it's like 32 degrees and raining. All of my raincoats are too like thin for me to wear in the rain, and this coat that I wear all the time doesn't have a hood. So I'm either wet or I'm cold, and I think I, I would rather be wet than cold. Um, it's Thursday though guys, like, this is my Friday for this week, I'm so excited, um, I have like a couple of like heavy things that I need to do today, like orientations, um, and I got one Zoom call that I have to hop on, but otherwise, this is it. Last night, um, as you guys saw, I was on the side of the highway with my boyfriend because his tire busted, and... At the time that his tire busted, it was pitch black outside. He could not see. And he was like trying to get his bolts off by hand, but he really just, he really needed a power tool. So I went out um, to help and assist with that. Mm. So I actually have his tire in the back of my car at the moment um, because he did not have room in his car. So at some point today, we have to 
go get a new tire. But <laughs> once that sadness is over, um, we're going to be going to HPU, which is a university here. It's a private university. Um, it's like a bougie university. Like if you're not familiar with HPU, it is a private university and a not so great town with amazing amenities. Like they pretty much were like, we're gonna treat this like it's UCLA and not help the community at all and just plop it in the middle of the city. But one of the things that actually they do for, I guess you could say for the community, is they do have a light show that they do on campus. Once the kids are gone for Christmas break, they actually go through the effort of doing like a state-of-the-art light show. You can donate canned goods, toys, things like that. Um, there's no actual charge for it. So we're going to go there tonight. Hopefully it's good. I've heard mixed reviews. So, as promised, we are on our way to HPU to see the Christmas lights. I have a bad feeling that this is about to be very packed because there's already a lot of people on the road. Um, the good thing is it's in the car, so I don't have to worry about walking around with multiple people because I'm literally tired of that. just finished it was really nice they have a crap ton of nutcrackers and I'm not really sure what that's about but they gave us like two books there's a small one and then this larger one here I guess it goes over like the history and things like that of the school but yeah that was nice I'm actually finally awake to talk I've been up since 8 30 which is an abomination considering it's vacation time but I'm at Duncan and I I've heard some not great things about the holiday flavors at this point this year and I hope the peppermint mocha goes well so I'm about to get one again not the biggest fan of peppermint but if you put it with chocolate I will take it and I, I don't know how that changes it but somehow it does my power is out my camera battery is about to die So someone hit a transformer, like I heard it, it was a loud boom. Um, so we don't have power and they don't know when it's gonna get fixed. I need to go run errands. Um, I wasn't gonna take my regular camera anyway, so I'll still film on my phone. I need to get a bunch of groceries and stuff for the next couple of days for 
Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then Friendsmas. Um, I need to print something off for my friend Eli for a gift that he's getting for um, his fiance. And there's one other thing I have to do and I can't remember what it is, but we're, we're gonna get going. The camera is definitely about to die, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm wearing my Mary Whatever shirt, has Grumpy Cat on it, jeans. I don't wanna wear my new bear paws because it's gross out, but like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna put on my feet. We'll figure that out. So I just dropped the gift off after forgetting it at the house and having to turn back around. Um, I figured, I realized I forgot pancake mix for tomorrow morning. So I figured since he works in a little bit of a smaller town than we live in, um, I figured I'd stop at the grocery store here as opposed to try to take my chances at home. Um, so I'm gonna go in this Aldi's and see. That was so nice and easy. Apparently Aldi's was just opening. So I got in early. These were 95 cents, they're dried cranberries. I got these for the charcuterie board for Monday. Um, I definitely got my pancake mix. And I got myself some potato soup, baked potato soup for lunch today. And then I realized, I was like, I was so caught up over like focusing on Christmas and Friendsmas, I didn't even think about eating food today. So, these are cute and festive. It's the Santa and mitten, like Santa hat and mitten shape gnocchi. And if you know, and you've been watching, I love me some gnocchi. So I'm going to probably cook those up with some mozzarella and some uh, tomato sauce, because I have a lot of tomato sauce at the house. And that's gonna be dinner. <sighs> so it is Christmas Eve, and I decided to go to our major shopping center, because Eli needed to finish up a few shopping things. There's no lights, like street lights, and people are just doing what they want, and it's just, I can't, I need to go home. Good morning guys Merry Christmas <sighs> I feel like crap again like the exact same way sore throat I'm a little bit congested which I wasn't last time a headache and I can barely breathe but it's still Christmas I tried my best <sighs>